Well, here we go again, huh? I think I left some bait in the gun lock, the gun box. It, it doesn't smell good. <laughs> well, different boat. Different, different vessel. Battery's charged. Good to go. Time to go chase some stripers. Maybe a squawfish. <laughs> Maybe a steelhead. Whatever it decides <laughs> wants to bite. A little stinky in there or what? It doesn't smell good. I don't know. I can't I smell it from here. Zane left his socks in there. <laughs> <laughs> well, like I said, we're going to be chasing some stripers. Uh, we did pretty well the other day. You know, caught a couple stripers, caught caught a shad, caught caught a steelhead. Uh, today we're just going for stripers completely. So we got a handful of rods on the deck. Um, can't find figure out how to catch a big one. So hopefully this trip we can catch catch a big one. Um, looking for you know 15 plus. You know, there's a lot of giants in this river. Just they're very smart they don't want to bite so hopefully we can trick one tonight we got some cloud cover we got a little bit of wind um perfect really perfect conditions you know the water is still very high i think it's still running at 15,000 cfs um but regardless i'm ready to get out there I'm sure kirby's ready to get out there make a bunch of casts see if we can run into a big one Hmm, boating and rafting and swimming are strongly discouraged. Hey, it says strongly discouraged. We plan on still going out? Yeah, hop in, you're a guide. <laughs> Come on, man. Thing wants to take forever. Oh, here we go. Got it. All right, we can launch now. We paid. All right. Here you go. Thanks, Dad. You can bring your, uh, Ice chest or no? Not just to drive it home. Okay. You can put inside the cabin in there. Okay, I'll dump you in. All right, ready to catch some fish? All right, let's do it. All right. Do these things work? I don't know, maybe. I think so. All right, we're gonna start off with A rig. Here we go. Hey, thanks for being the uh, captain of today. Hey, throw the anchor out. <laughs> We need to keep moving. We always come back up here at the end of the day. Man, I'm surprised we didn't get one, you know? I cast there's a like a trough over there. Really? Well, it's not big. It's a start. That's a start. Took us a half hour. Not big. Skinny. Skinny one. That was cool. Thanks, bud, for playing. I want his bigger brother. <laughs> I want grandmama. <laughs> Soon as we came up that break. <laughs> yeah. Well, that's the first short I've caught in a while. There's one. I don't know if it's a keeper. Another short, man. 
Is it? Yeah. Sure. How'd you hook him like that? Little guy. Healthy, wow. Super healthy. Bye bye. Alright. Number two. Getting a little bigger. Might have been a keeper. But we want those three to what? Seven pounder? Three to seven pounders. I don't know, kind of off that, you kind of makes that bend. Like a pocket and then it makes a point. Kind of right in there. This is great. Really? Hmm. That's a big one, dude. Oh, it just came off. Dude, that was a giant. That was big. Oh, it broke my wire. Dude, that was giant. so lame dude it is so lame I haven't seen the headband like that in a long time dude broke my wire that was over 20 oh for sure yeah that was a big one that was one of those giant giants big head shakes I guess we're going no bladed I guess today <sighs> that looks so big that was our fish yeah you got 11 feet right here too Yeah, it was starting to take a line. I wish we would have had a camera back here for that, the way from my angle. Mm -hmm. Did you stop or it goes... Pink. Wow. What a giant, dude. That no, it was. So I'm not lying, guys. That was a big fish. That's the first time you've ever broken a rig on a fish? Mm-hmm. First time I ever broke an A rig on a fish. It was starting to pull line. I could hear it. Yeah. I was trying. I was about. To, I was trying to get to my drag, and then, dink, it popped off. I thought I just pulled. Just pulled off. I thought so too. I didn't freaking think it. What wire did it break? Did it break more Side. Than you done with this already? Yeah, I'm done with it. I need to pinch my barb. Good to go. What's your guess? 20 to 30? Nah, I don't know about 30, but 15 to 20. My thoughts. Dude, they were wide. They were. Looks good. Wish it was bladed, but I guess that's going to have to work. <sighs> Dang. Which way do you think he came when he ate that A-Rig? From the bank? No idea. No, I don't know either. Oh, well. Where's that big 60-14? We're fishing. Bring it off that break. Got a big one? Way out there, huh? Doesn't feel big. Why are they little today? They're either really little or big and I can't land them. Oh, that's a keeper. Sure. Pushing it up there a little bit. Yeah. I mean, how deep are you, think? Probably four, probably four feet down. Dang, pretty high in the water column. Another 
skinny one. Yeah. And on my mind right away, I think it's another giant. Oh, carp. What are you going to do? Unboxing. All right. Number one. Not bad. Not a giant. Not a giant, but number one. Biggin. Big head shakes. Uh oh. Uh oh. I don't think it's as big as Fisherman Wilson's, but the biggest one I've hooked in a while. <laughs> I think I got excited, guys. I don't want to bust my test. <laughs> well, that's a good one. Ten pounds? How good's he hook? I don't know. I don't wouldn't boat swing him. The barbless hooks. I'm scared. I'm scared. Don't get hooked, Dad. Ooh. Bottom lip. Too. Oh, he's... You want tail ground? Ow! Ow! Ow. Stop, just come here, bud. <laughs> That's a good one. <laughs> Spawned out. Can I pop this out? Yeah, good? you should be able to. Get it out of the way. It's not a bad fish, dude. Thin, huh? Thin. Yeah. Right on. That's what we're looking for. That's what we're That's looking for. Half the size of the one Austin just lost. But <laughs> anything bigger than a couple pounds less than this, we let go. <laughs> he was angry. <laughs> right on, dude. All righty. It's a good fish. Take that. Take that. Let's get another one, shall we? Okay. <laughs> Should have been what, like 11? Yeah. If it was fat. Yeah. If your fish fought like that, I wonder how big mine was. <laughs> From my perspective, seeing your head. No. I mean, I really like this left side. It looks, I haven't caught any fish there yet, but it just looks so good. We can float down from here. Yeah, I don't have a don't have a bladed a rig. That was a bite. That was 100% a bite. Got him that time. Little guy. No, he's just in the current. Oh, it's bigger than I thought it was. It's a nice fish. That's a keeper. Wow, I thought that was like the size I was catching. It came back good. It came back really good. I wonder if there's multiple there. Well, that's number one for me, right? Oh, that was cool. See, there's another one in there. I can see him being schooled in that. I like it. Yeah. Eh, yeah. yep, no. Little guy. Choked it, dude. He's gone. Number four for me? I think so. Number four. Not a keeper, but all right. Still fish. Still striper. That was right on the bank. Was it? Oh, yeah. Three handle turns, four handle turns. Boom. Well, Curb, that's a wrap, huh? I want to know how big that one was. Oh, what dude. a giant. That was a big one. Well, this is how it goes. It could have been like a four pounder or it could have been a 40 pounder. Who knows? It was probably bigger than four. Uh, yeah, <laughs> I think it was definitely bigger than four pounds. Over 20 pounds. But, uh, 
I mean, that's what I get for catching probably, I don't know how many fish on that rig, 40, 50, I don't know. I really don't know. The wire getting bent out. And of course, when a big one eats it, the freaking wire breaks. But uh, that's just how it goes yeah, sometimes. Course. Yeah, you, you know, but I don't think, like, like I said earlier, I don't think I've ever broke a wire. So I don't know where I lost you guys. Um, the battery died. I had 25% and all of a sudden just died on me. You know, gotta love batteries and just camera equipment. But uh, you know, like I said, I don't know where I lost you. But anyway, we lost a big one. We caught that nice one. You probably, that was probably a 10 pounder or so. We needed one solid one. One solid one, caught a couple shorts, line burners. Um, man, a lot of shorts today. I think that's the most shorts I've caught, honestly, in a day here. Usually they're, sure, yeah. I mean, mostly keepers. So um, regardless, we're able to get on the water for a couple hours and make a few casts, you know? I mean, I think the next time I come out, I don't know, I really want to try to focus on a big one. So I have to, I'll leave that for another video. I don't want to talk about it too much and maybe ruin, ruin, ah, ruin the next video. So, but. found a couple good little spots. Yeah, you were marking some pretty big marks. So, for sure. um, how do you catch those fish? I think there's only one way to catch those big ones. So. You have to be Austin. <laughs> I don't know about that. You have to, I think you have to get here real early before ever all, all the people get on the water. Yeah. But um, I don't know. I mean, hopefully you guys like the video. Kirby, you have anything to add? Don't break your A-rig next time. Uh, okay, I'll take your advice. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> all right, guys. Well, we're going to wrap it up. Thanks for watching. Thanks for tuning in. And uh, we'll see you guys next time.